Welcome to Unit 2 of Chemistry 101 at Goodwin College. Unit 2, which is associated with Chapter 2 in your textbook, is on matter and energy. So that's what we're going to talk about uh, through these videos. So matter and energy. What is matter? Matter, according to your textbook, is, quote, anything that has mass and occupies space. I have a little bit of a uh, more informal definition of what matter is. Matter is stuff, and uh, obviously stuff is a very informal uh, word, but just think of it as uh, matter is material things, things that you can touch or feel by other senses. So material objects in this world are made of matter. And all matter is made of atoms. So that shouldn't come as a surprise to you, and we'll talk about what atoms are in this unit as well as uh, the following unit after this. But you should know, at least ahead of time, that atoms are very tiny objects. So all material objects in this world are made of atoms, and atoms are very small. There are many different types of atoms, so you can think of them as atoms coming in many different types. There are hydrogen atoms, there are oxygen atoms, carbon atoms, copper atoms. These are some of the many different types of atoms. This over here on the left is a copper penny. For the most part, the, this copper penny is made almost exclusively of copper atoms and not any of the other types. So there are currently 118 different types of atoms, and these different types are also called elements. So you might hear me say that there are currently 118 different elements that are known to exist. And this uh, picture here, or this, this is called a table, it's actually called the periodic table of the elements. Some of you may have seen this before, but this is one way of organizing all 118 of those elements, and we'll discuss that in more detail in a little bit. But suffice it to say that there are 118 boxes here, each representing one of the 118 different types of atoms. Now, there are many different types of matter, and we're going to discuss some of these in a little bit more detail now. One type of matter are things that are called pure substances. And this is one type of, of pure substance. An element is one type of pure substance. It's a substance that's made of only one type of atom. And the example that I was giving you earlier was the copper penny. So the copper penny has some impurities in it, but let's just pretend that it's made exclusively of copper atoms. So if you could zoom in on this atom, if you could zoom in close enough to see the atoms, you might see that all of the atoms essentially look and behave the same. So let's pretend that these uh, gray circles here are supposed to be copper atoms. If you could zoom in on this penny, all of the atoms would be roughly the same size and roughly have the same characteristics because they are all copper atoms. So this copper penny is made of one single element, a substance that's made of only one type of atom. There are other types of pure substances. One other type is something called a compound, and you may hear me refer to different materials later in the course as compounds. So I'd like you to know what, this, what the definition of a compound is. A compound is a pure substance that's made of two or more types of atoms. So it has to be made of at least two different types of atoms, but the atoms are always attached to each other in the same way. So what do I mean by this? Here's an example of, uh, this is a cartoon version of two different types of atoms. So here's a large gray one, and it's always paired up with a smaller purplish one. So there's always a large gray one, small purple, large gray, small purple, etc., etc. This entire block of atoms is a compound because this entire block of atoms is made of at least two different types, there's a big one and a small one, but they're always attached to each other in the same way. There's always one big one, then one small one. One big, one small. So this is also a pure substance, but it's a pure compound instead of a pure element. That's a compound. This is a different type of compound. And again, we won't go into details about what these chemicals are, but imagine that each circle is one type of atom. So this is a com or this is a collection of one compound. Each thing is always made of um, one large blue circle and two smaller red ones. So it's a compound because it's made of two or more different types of atoms. There's a blue one and a red one, and they're always attached to each other in the same way. There's always one blue one attached to two red. And because of that, this is a different type of compound. This is a compound, and it's different from the center one here. That's also a compound. 
Then finally, this collection of, of atoms and attached atoms is not actually a compound. The reason, or it's not actually a pure compound. The reason is for a couple of reasons. First of all, these atoms over here, they may consist of the same different types of atoms. So this, this thing over here has one blue circle and it also has red circles. This also has a blue circle and red circles. However, the attachments are not the same. This one over here has one blue attached to two red. This, this one over here has one blue attached to one, two, three red. So this collection of things already is not a pure substance. It's not a pure compound because there are different amounts of red and blue things attached to each other. Another reason why this is not a pure compound is because of this material over here, which is made of one blue, two red, but it also has a green atom attached. So again, this is not a pure compound. And then finally, this is one lone element all by itself. And so this all by itself is not a compound because a compound has to be made of two or more types of atoms. So all of these things taken together are not a pure compound. And what you would call them is you would just call them a mixture of elements, this is an element, and a mixture of different types of compounds, which are these other four things here. There's a different type of pure substance that we're going to talk about now. And that type of pure substance is uh, called a molecule, and, and you may or may not have heard of molecules before. But the definition of a molecule is two or more atoms that are stuck to each other in a fixed way. So as an example, all of these things are the same type of molecule. This thing is made of two or more atoms. It's made of three atoms, actually. And they're always attached to each other in the same way. So there's always one blue one, two red ones. One blue one, two red ones. So this is a collection of a pure substance or a pure molecule in this case. So these are four molecules. They're all the same. Here, these are actually three molecules and an atom. This is one type of molecule. It has a blue atom attached to two red ones. This is the same type of molecule as the one I just described. One blue atom attached to two red ones. This is a completely different type of molecule. It has one blue one attached to three red ones. So it's not the same as this molecule here. And then finally, this is not a molecule at all because it's only one atom. And the definition of a molecule is that you need two or more atoms that are stuck to each other in a fixed way. So this is just an atom or an element all by itself. So this collection of objects here are actually three molecules and one atom. And two of the molecules are the same, these two at the top. They're the same type of molecule. And this one on the lower left is different from the other two. So you can think of this collection as being a mixture of things, a mixture of molecules and an atom. Now, I want to point out something that might seem a little subtle and might be confusing some of you. What's the difference between a compound and a molecule? So let's look at the definitions a little more closely. The definition of a compound from two slides back is it's a substance made of two or more different types. And I want to emphasize types of atoms. So you have to have at least two different kinds of atoms um, that are attached to each other in the same way to make a compound. Molecule doesn't have that restriction. Molecule just needs to have two or more different, uh, two or more atoms stuck to each other, but they don't have to be different from each other. So this thing here is a molecule because it has, it's made of at least two atoms. It's actually made of three, but it is also a compound because a compound needs two or more different types of atoms. And this one has a blue one and it also has two red ones. So it meets both definitions. This thing here is both a molecule and a compound. This thing over here is just a molecule and it is not a compound. So again, looking at this, the definition of a molecule is it's two or more atoms stuck to each other in a fixed way. And this thing is made of two atoms. But it is not a compound because a compound has to have two or more different types of atoms. And this has the same type of atom, uh, two, different, two atoms that are the same type stuck to each other, two red ones. So this thing here is a molecule, but it is not a compound. Hopefully you can see the, the subtle difference there between a molecule and a compound. 